Welcome to our series at the Winter Gardens in Blackpool, looking at all the hidden secrets and exploring its rich history inside the building. In this video, we are going to take a look at the future of Winter Gardens and its brand new state-of-the-art conference centre before exploring the rest of the historic building in future videos. The conference centre was built at a cost of £30 million and is hoping to attract a different audience to the Winter Gardens by providing modern and adaptable facilities to accompany its already extensive exhibition rooms within the complex. It's one of the largest venues of its kind in the north of England and only opened a matter of days before filming. Built on a former staff car park, it seamlessly slots in between the Empress Ballroom and the Opera House, providing a link to the rest of the building from inside, as well as standalone access from Leopold Grove, which itself is due to be upgraded with future plans. So if you watched the first video that I put out from the Winter Gardens, you would have noticed in there I covered the brand new conference centre from round the back on the street. Now they're still building it, it's just finished now I think, but they're still doing the outside of it. Now, while we're here, they've asked if we would like to go see inside this brand new state-of-the-art conference centre, and we couldn't resist. So shall we see what the future holds for Winter Gardens and what they're doing today to bring it in to the 21st century? So you can access it from Leopold Grove at the back here and there's also the entrance we've just come through from the Empress Ballroom here. So the ballroom's just to the side of us and you can just see the original outer wall here for the ballroom. So this is what would have been outside and this used to be an alleyway up the middle and then in years gone by this whole site here was actually the original Italian gardens. So this would have been a gardens with a carriage entrance coming through into the Empress Ballroom. But you can see the wall just behind these modern escalators here. But today this can host thousands of people and state-of-the-art facilities for conferences, businesses, to bring it, like I said, up to date. Because some of the other rooms are great for conferences, but not so much the modern state-of-the-art technology. But in here, all that changes. So as you can see, we've got modern projectors up there, modern lighting, modern air conditioning. You know, sometimes it's great to have the old, but it's also great to bring stuff up to date because you can get left behind. And that was one of the problems with Blackpool. It was great for the old stuff, but it kind of got left behind because they didn't modernise. And this is one of their answers towards that. So this brand new conference centre, which is on two levels. So we'll go have a look at the other level in a sec. But this brings it right up to date so they can host things in here and still attract people to the Winter Gardens for different reasons where they couldn't before. So this is the entrance through Leopold Grove here. So this will be the outside entrance into the conference centre. Now that car park over there, I'm, I think, is getting redone. And also the outside of the Empress down here is getting done as well. It's all part of the plans anyway. But you can see how modern it is. Jordan was just saying as well that all the panels on the walls inside the rooms are all touchscreen iPads to control everything. So although architecturally it may not complement the Winter Gardens as some of you said, but inside it does complement it because it's a modern angle or a modern take on one of the rooms here which brings new people into the venue. And again the Empress Ballroom here. Now this used to be a car park as far as I remember many years ago so it's definitely been used for something more. But you can just see the old outside wall there, it's been restored. So we've just reached the second level of the conference centre. Now this I believe is the largest floor space up here. You can just see out over Leopold Grove there and these fantastic atrium here straight through. Let's go have a look. And then this is the atrium on the second level so you can see we've got the modern escalators here. Something that they don't have in Winter Gardens until now. Escalators. But again, you can see the outer wall there for the Empress. So here we are on the second floor. So as I was just saying, you can see they're setting up for an event today. But this is the bigger space of the two. So you've got the one downstairs and then this one is the biggest where they can hold multiple 
circumferences and of different types as you can see they can get the uh, scissor lifts in here and all the walls can move around the building as well which is exactly what people require today and then just here we've got what is well it looks like a bar area but it's called the balcony so it's at the front of the main conference venue through there all glass fronted now I've just been corrected Jordan was saying actually the car park here is actually planned maybe in the future to be a hotel to complement this venue here and they're going to maybe link it with a bridge across to the hotel so it'll become part of the winter gardens so that's again the room we were in a minute ago and all the way down to this side of the winter gardens but it's now officially open so you can book your conferences here and as we can see it's already been used as the setting up next door so just down from the first floor of the conference venue here we've got another door now this leads into the Empress ballroom or it will do when they've finished it they're just working on it currently but as you can see we've got the quite high roof in there and it's an arched doorway and this we believe could possibly have been the original carriage entrance into the ballroom so they used to come in with horse and carriages and drop off inside and it used to go all the way down there which would have been the Italian gardens like I said and then out onto the main is it St John's Square at the front We'll be back at the Winter Gardens very soon for more historic explores. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.